Hello, sports fan. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. So today, I want to talk about this whole thing that's going on around the, the COVID-19 thing. And its effect on sports when we get back to sports. Because there's a lot of different speculations. There's a lot of different ways it'll affect different leagues. For instance, I watched a video today by the hockey guy. Where, and he has a channel where he just talks about hockey. And um, there has been some kind of speculation that the NHL won't even play a 2021 season. Say what? Now, I don't know where that's coming from because, you know, I think this is probably going to clear up by summer, clear up by summer and not be nearly as bad or even possibly be gone, I would think, by summer. But, um, you know, we'll see if that's the case. Um, but um, coming back again next year, I mean, I suppose that's possible. Um, even possibly mutating and coming back in a different, slightly different form next year. Um, we'll see. But I think because health officials know about this, they're working on a vaccine. Um, the, um, you know, we got a lot of smart minds working on this situation. So I don't know that any season is going to miss its 2021 season. And I don't even, I'm even kind of optimistic that the NFL will have an almost normal 2020 season. Um, you know, of course, only playing a few, maybe um, one or maybe not even uh, one playoff game in 2021 and then the Super Bowl in 2021. But I think they'll have an almost normal season, um, maybe cut short a little at the beginning as far as training camps and things like that. Baseball, of course, is... Now the new plan is not every team gathered in Arizona to play all of their games in Arizona. The new plan is that there's going to be, they're going to do a complete realignment for just this year where one league is the, um, the Cactus League, which is going to play out, out west in Arizona. And it's going to be just the teams that train in Arizona during spring training. And then another league is going to be the Citrus League, and that's going to play in Florida. And that's going to be all of that league will be all of the teams that do their spring training in Florida. And then those two leagues will just play amongst each other, kind of like old school baseball, which is, in from that aspect, it's kind of cool that it's just going to be the each league playing each other and they won't you know, cross play like they do now. Um, but so there's the speculation of baseball and then there'll be a world series eventually between the winner of the citrus league and the winner of the cactus league. Uh, you know, and that's just going to be for this year. Um, I'm not a big fan of that plan because if you know anything about it and the way the divisions will be set aside, the white Sox will be in the Dodgers division, which yeah. Who needs that? So, um, yeah, that's not, you know, not my favorite plan. But anything that gets baseball playing this year, even if it's to no crowds. And by the way, there are leagues, even in Italy, as hard hit as Italy has been hit by this virus, they do play soccer games in Italy. To no crowds, granted, but they're playing. They are playing games, even in Italy, to no crowds. So, um, you know, but then, but then not even beyond all of this, next year, I think there will, like I said, I think there will be, le these leagues will play next year. Um, but what is that going to look like? The NHL... Uh, for instance, has several teams that may not even be able to survive the end of the year not playing this year. 
because they have teams, at least uh, according to their self-reporting, that lose money. Like Winnipeg loses money, the Florida Panthers lose money, which is believable. I mean, you know, they're saying that they, they're losing money, and it's, it's probably believable that they are. Um, the Arizona Coyotes, they lose money. So, will they even be able to come out of this, this season, that it may end up canceling the rest of this season with no playoffs, no Stanley Cup? Um, can they even survive that? And then, um, so then how does the NHL look? If that happens, how does the NHL look next year? And, um, and then, and then baseball. You've got the governor of California saying he doesn't want any big congregations of people, no concerts, and I'm sure he's including sporting events. He doesn't want to see, that means he doesn't want to see the LA Kings playing in their arenas to a full arena. He doesn't want to see the Dodgers and the uh, A's and the Angels playing to full crowds or even close to it. Um, so I think, I think some people are getting a little carried away with this. And I include the governor of California on that list. Um, because something like this, I mean, the last time we saw something on this scale was probably the Spanish flu in like 1918. So, um, Let's hope that this is not going to happen again. But how quick can the recovery be? And what will the recovery look like? Will it go back to normal? Will all of these teams survive all of this? Will all of the leagues survive all of this and bounce back? Almost as if nothing happened. Maybe not in 2021. 2021 probably is still not going to be a normal season for any league. Their attendance will be down. Their viewership is maybe going to suffer a little bit. Um, teams, you know, fans of bad teams may not um, come out even as much as they were coming out. So 2021 is going to be a rough season, probably for every league. Um, except again, maybe the NFL, because for the NFL's 2021, you're talking about near the end of 2021. By then, maybe this is all in the rearview mirror and uh, people are starting to get back to normal. But the NFL's 2020 season is not going to be a normal 2020 season. And I think for most leagues, the 2021 season also will not be. The 2020 season for a lot of these leagues is, is already not going to be um, at all normal or or even you know remotely good but uh, 2021 remains to be seen how that's going to affect the NBA how it's going to affect the NHL how it's going to affect Major League Baseball what kind of you know what is that going to look like what uh, is the future of sports because of this virus that's the question and um, I don't know what the answer is we're going to have to wait and see. I don't think anybody knows what the answer is. We're going to have to wait and see. But there's going to be a lot of casualties. And sports in general, their multi-billion dollar industry, is going to take a hit at least for 2021. And even maybe we'll see some teams contract because they just can't, um, they can't, uh, you know, weather this kind of loss. So we'll see. Um... I hope it's not as dire as some people think, and I know it's not going to be as rosy as other people think. It's probably going to be somewhere in the middle, but I would be interested to know what you guys think, because, you know, you can see here I've got my Sportsman Z Sports Museum office, and, uh, I want to be able to keep adding to and enhancing this office, and that means I need sports to keep it going. But uh, I'd be very interested to hear what everyone out there thinks. 
Do you think this is going to be a death knell for some sports? Do you think it's going to be a death knell for some teams in some sports? Um, how do you think this is going to work? How do you think it's going to... Uh, how do you think the final chapter on this is going to be written? Um, I would be interested to hear what you think. I Personally, I don't think that this is going to go beyond the fall. Um, but... And certainly hope it doesn't. But who knows? There are people that are saying it could be. There's people that are saying it could even last in the next year. As I somehow doubt that. But again, let me know what you think. Let's get a dialogue going about it. Um, if I see some comments that I think are worthy of a follow-up video on the subject, I will make a follow-up video. But for right now... Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.